the, in the kitchen again. What have they done? <laughs> right, so it's not FAB or BAF or FBA or AFB, it's L. <laughs> and that's Satan with a pen. Right on my window. Oh, magic being patched up. Where's Spud? Spud's in oh, the No, he's been hanging off it this year. I can't believe they're written on the window. Oh, it's a big one today. Cookies. What is it? The gingerbread man. Gingerbread man mix and cutter kit. Oh, look at the cutter. Ah, it's a bake your own. Oh. Hello, Lomond. You wanting your breakfast? Yeah. So it bakes eight gingerbread men. When will we do it? We could have done it today if you weren't going to school, but <laughs> the results are in. Maybe do it when you come in. No, man. Or maybe do it on Saturday, actually. No, man. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. We're almost into double figures. I hope you are all well. I will quickly get you up to speed with what's going on here. You might have heard me saying to Brooke this morning that she was going to school. Yay! Last night, when I last spoke to you at the back of seven, we still didn't have the results in. So I thought, it's another day at home for Brooke tomorrow. So the elves strapped up the gingerbread man kit so that she would have something productive to do today. However, when I got up through the night, about three o'clock this morning, to check on the elves because I could hear them banging about. I checked my phone and discovered that we'd got an email about half past nine last night when I was long sleeping to say that the test was negative. So Brooke was able to go to school today and that was a relief. I, I was sure she was negative anyway and she wasn't ill so I wasn't really worried about that. It was more the fact that she wanted to go to school and I'm way behind on everything that I need to do because I need her to go to school. So she is away to school today. Jack is working from home again because he's still been coughing and spluttering all night and doesn't want to pass his germs on to anyone. Abby's off today. So the three of us are in the house, but Brooke's away to school. So it's all good. I have already got my housework done. All the bits and pieces I needed to do are done, which is great. I've finally tidied my craft corner. It's been really annoying me because if everything's been such a guddle and I can't focus, I can't concentrate if I'm working in a mess. So that's all tidy and ready to go. So my plan for today is to answer all your lovely comments because I'm behind on that again. And then I'm going to get on with all the bits and pieces that I should have done over the last two days when Brooke's been in the house. So I've got a lot to do. I'm going to be very busy, busy. And I thought, it's not going to make for a very interesting vlog for you. I don't want another boring one like yesterday. So in today's Vlogmas, I'm going to put in the Poundland haul that I filmed a week or so ago. And it is, rather than Christmas gifts, it's showing you what I picked up to do some nice, inexpensive and easy Christmas DIYs. So if you want to see what I bought for doing all that, stay tuned. Before I show you that, I am going to do our Christmas music quiz and that was sitting beside the elves in the kitchen this morning. Can you believe they wrote on my window? I couldn't believe it, but they obviously disagree with us. I know you might have seen that we've had a, a bit of a, a game going on with the three mugs with our initials on it. There's an F for Fiona, A for Abby and B for Brooke. So I kept aligning them so that it said Fab. Brooke would change it so it said Bath. And then Abby got in on the act and changed it to AFB. So <laughs> the elves decided that none of them were correct and they wrote elf on them. So yeah, clearly it's elf and not fab bavarap. <laughs> I'm so glad they just wrote in chalk pen, chalk pen though or else it would never have came off. But it does mean I'm going to have to wash the kitchen windows at some point. <laughs> anyway, I digress again. Let's get on with today's music quiz. And it's karaoke time. So remember, I don't need the name of the song this time. I need the lyrics that are missing. Okay, remember, my singing's rubbish and I've still got a bit of a cold. Think of all the fun I've missed. Think of all the fellas that I haven't kissed. 
If you check off my Christmas list, butter butter Santa baby. Okay, so I want the missing lyrics. I will show you it. Think of all the fun I've missed. Think of all the fellas that I haven't kissed. <laughs> if you check out my Christmas list. So fill in the blanks in the comments below. Let me know what the missing lyrics are. Right, I'm going to head off just now, reply to some of your comments, and I'll come back to you when it's hot chocolate time. I'm not sure what flavour I'm going to have today. Mm. A cat. A hat. A hat. A Santa hat. It looks like just a snow hat. Oh, it's a pudding. Ah, it's a Christmas pudding. Look what the elves have done. Ah, of course, they left the F. Of course they left the F. There's an F in elf. You never had them? No. Neither have I. Cadbury Christmas Pud. Ooh. Ooh. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> and it's a very pretty jar. That's cute. It's not food. No. It's not food, Molly. Sorry. <laughs> what, tell everybody where you're going tomorrow. I'll tell them my weekend. Oh, oh. Right, sit down, grab a cup of coffee and... Get comfortable. What day is it today? Wednesday? This is Wednesday, yes. So I'm going to the doctor's today to get a prescription and I need to take £100 out for Dad because mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got a concert on Friday, very last minute, um, and the ticket was £50, but I had to get him to get, transfer it because my online banking transfer doesn't work. But Dad didn't understand that and he put the £50 in my account before... He realised that he had to actually put the fifty pound to someone else, so that was him a hundred pounds short. So I need to give him fifty pounds for the ticket and the fifty pounds he put in my account. Yes. <laughs> um, and then tomorrow I'm going up Glasgow to get an outfit for it because looking at what the other girls are wearing, I've got absolutely nothing. Ah, uh, yeah, you need to be the same. Yeah. So unless I'm going to roll up in joggies and a jumper <laughs> tomorrow, I'm going to go up in the morning. I'll go quite early and get an outfit for it and then come back, get changed and go to the football. Oh yeah, you've got the football tomorrow night. Football tomorrow night, yes. And then I've got the concert on Friday night and Saturday I think I'm going to have a chill day after that. I would think so. Mm -hmm. And then Sunday, you get my friend and we're going to the Celtic game. Yay! Dad's not happy, he's having to miss the Celtic game because we're going to the Candy Cross, we're going to Lahore. But it's a brilliant one, even though we can't run. But we're still going to Marshall. Yay! And I'm not missing the game. And you're not missing the game, so at least your friend's getting to use the ticket. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she usually actually jumps. Careful, Abby, that's a lot of exercise. Clyde's response to Abby jumping. <laughs> Knackered. <laughs> chocolate time I think I'm going to have the hazelnut chocolate flavour today this was from B&M this set and it was £4 for 11 hot chocolates because the one in the middle is just marshmallows I'm going to use my Kevin the carrot mug today Kevin looks naked without his kilt on <laughs> now we know what he wears under it nothing Love it, love it. Um, so this hot chocolate gets put in hot milk rather than adding boiling water, which is good. I like a creamy hot chocolate. So let's give this a go. As soon as you open the sachet, you can smell the hazelnut chocolate. So that is definitely a good sign. And the brand is Coco Tree. And these are limited edition, apparently. I've never heard of the, the brand before. And of course, I'll be keeping the ribbon to recycle for my crafts. I'm just going to use the whole sachet because it doesn't say not to. 
It took a good few minutes of stirring, but I think I've finally got it all mixed in. I hate lumpy bits of powder. Um, I would maybe, next time, I might make a little paste with boiling water first and then add the milk to it and see if that helps. But it looks like it's all dissolved, okay? Let's give it a taste. Smells nice. That is lovely. That is very, very nice. Mmm. A definite 9 out of 10 for that one. Yes, I approve. I like this one. <laughs> I'm looking forward to trying the other flavours in this uh, with this brand. Nice, I'm going to go enjoy it now. Haul. Now, this haul is slightly different in that I actually went in to pick up inexpensive pieces to make really nice DIY Christmas decor for the house. So it's not like Christmas presents as such, but I thought I would film it anyway in case you wanted to see what I've picked up and my ideas of what I'm going to do for it. Um, I did pick up most of the ideas from watching YouTube videos. There's loads out there on using Poundland bits and pieces to make your own Christmas DIYs. So that's where I got my inspiration from. Everything in this haul was a pound, which is not always in Poundland now, apart from this bag. How cute is that? It's a big, huge bag and I bought it because I forgot to take the one that I had to buy the last time because I forgot to take the one that I bought the time before that. Anybody else like me? I love the idea of reusable bags if I could remember to take them. Anyway, this was £1.50, but it is a big bag and it did us quite a few shops, so that was good. And the only thing that wasn't for DIY, I think, was this. And it's just a little stocking filler or advent box filler for Brooke. And it's basically a Harry Potter pencil topper and it's Draco Malfoy because he is her favourite character. And yeah, I just thought I would pick that up for her because it was only a pound. Abby was raking through them all to see if they had one and he was hiding at the back. Um, so yeah, so that is for Brooke for an advent box or a stocking filler. Right, everything else is decor. Let's start with this. It's an empty snow globe. I'm not going to make a proper snow globe out of it with the water and everything because it looks way too much hassle to get the consistency of the water right to make the snow float and all the rest of it. I'm basically going to fill it with some artificial snow and little Christmas, Christmas characters and I might put some vinyl, like a vinyl Merry Christmas or something on the outside of it. Um, but yeah, it was only a pound and I thought there's so many different things you can do with that. Some of the little characters that I bought to go in it were, look at the little snowman, he's really cute. Just a wee resin character, he was a pound, as was Santa. They all had weird hats, I think there has been some sort of fluff or something on their hat, but it hasn't stuck on very well um, and just came off, so it all looks a bit weird. I might stick something on there just to make it look a bit better, but I thought he was really cute as well. So he was a pound, and also the little Christmas sleigh with the presents. That was a pound as well, and I thought they them in the, the snow globe, I've also got empty jars that I've been keeping that I might try to do something with as well. Um, so yeah, I thought they would be really cute. They've got quite a few things like that that you can pick up. The other thing for putting in the snow globe or the jars is the little Christmas tree. Just the little sort of bottle brush style Christmas trees. There's five in the pack and that was a pound. Perfect. I picked up some candy canes. These are mainly going to be for the elves to do bits and pieces with. But I have seen a few DIYs using candy canes as well. So when I saw them there, it was a pound for the 12. I just had to pick them up. The girls used to like candy canes to eat, but I'm not sure whether they do now or not. Um, if so, I might put a couple in their advent boxes. But if not, they'll be used between decor and the elves. I saw this Merry Christmas garland and picked it up because I had the idea of doing something with it for the elves but then when I went into one below I saw something better but I will still do something with this. It might just stay as Merry Christmas or I might do something else. For a pound it's actually cheaper than making it myself with the Cricut by the time I used all the card and string and everything and it comes with all the letters, nice gold foil on the letters and the it looks like red ribbon to hang it up with. 
It's a two metre garland for a pound. I picked up some Christmas napkins because I've seen lots of nice things done with these um, in the decoupage style. So basically using Mod Podge to stick them to things and it just has a really, really nice effect. So I saw them and picked them up. A pound for 16, yeah, 16. And any that I don't use for my DIY, I can use for the Christmas table or I can keep for next year. This was the snow that I picked up to fill my snow globe or jars and it's snow confetti. Uh, it's hard to see, but it does look like tiny bits of snow. You can also use salt apparently, um, but when I saw this for a pound, I just picked it up. It's 80 grams that you get in it. So I might, depending on how much I need for each thing, I might put salt in the bottom and then, oh, oh, it's all coming out. And then the snow in the top so that it looks, it's getting the depth, but it's not all using up this. Obviously, I better not use my pink Himalayan salt because that would look a bit odd. <laughs> Got bits of snow everywhere. I picked up these Christmas cards. We don't send Christmas cards uh, as a family. We give the money that we would spend to Christmas cards to charity because, to be honest, I just think it's such a chore and... I either FaceTime people or send them a knee card if I'm wanting to say Merry Christmas to them. So I don't really worry about Christmas cards. But when I saw these, I had to get them for decor. Because if you've watched my other hauls and vlogs, you'll know that I am loving gonks. So look at him. Isn't he just so sweet? And there's also the red one as well. And I just think they're gorgeous. Just a simple frame with that in it would just be so cute. I picked up these garland ties. You get a pack of 10. These were a pound as well. And again, a lot of people use them for decorating the neck of jars or round um, frames or cutting boards, things like that. So when I saw them, I thought I'm going to pick them up because I don't have anything like that in the house. And they were only a pound. I didn't see them at first and I did see a make your own wreath. And it was basically this, but one big sort of roll of it, if you like. And I was going to get that, but when I spotted this, I thought, no, that'll be easier rather than trying to cut it myself. I picked up these little bead garlands. I got them in silver and I got them in red. And you get six metres of each. We used to put these on our tree all the time, but we don't tend to do that now. Um, but I have seen quite a few crafts with them, um, either left as strings or um, cut up and used individually. And yeah, I just think they're so cute. So for a pound each, perfect. Now, this was another one that I wouldn't have picked up if I'd been into one below first because I saw these gift bows. Now, I don't normally use these, uh, but they are nice colours, I have to say. It's packs of four and it was four for a pound. And I purely got them for the elves to get up to mischief with. And I knew that I was wanting them, so when I saw them, I thought I'll just pick them up. I did think it's a bit expensive, four for a pound, but I did pick them up. I picked up the two packs, and they will get used, but I did get a better deal in one below, which you'll see in a different haul. But yeah, so a pound each for the bows. You would be able to use them on gifts, that's what they're meant for, but I tend not to. Um, so the elves will use them, or they might be used in different DIYs. I saw a really nice, simple idea for making your own wreath with sweeties rather than um, like all the, the green foliage type stuff. So I picked up one of these wreaths and it is a, it's 25 by 25 centimetres and it was a pound. It's polystyrene and you can either stick um, like toothpicks into it or you can hot glue things on it or you can sellotape things on it. It's entirely up to you. But yeah, that's my idea for that. I'm going to make a nice sweetie wreath out of that. It's just quite a nice personalised gift if you can get someone's favourite sweets and stick them to a wreath and give them it. I might put one of those bows on it as well or a Merry Christmas I don't know but I've got so many ideas going around my head I'm not sleeping at nights because I wake up and think oh I could do that oh I could do that I don't know if I'm dreaming about it and that's why it's in my head or if it's just because it's Christmas or if it's because I'm shopping all the time <laughs> now I've wanted a pom-pom maker for ages and 
I saw these in Poundland for a pound and thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go because I always thought that they would be really complicated or not work properly. But I have seen a few people using them and they seem to work really, really well. And it's much easier and quicker than getting the cardboard circle and wrapping your roll around it. So yeah, I got this. It makes two different size pom-poms and it was only a pound. So if it doesn't work or if I can't work it, should I say, then I've not exactly lost much ever. Other napkins that I got were these. I thought they were really pretty. It's just gold foil stars on the white napkins. And again, I'm going to use them for decoupaging onto uh, whatever I make. It will just be for redecorations. I don't know how it will work with it being the sort of foily type thing, but we'll give it a go. I've never done it before, but I've seen people doing it loads and it looks so simple. And I've got Mod Podge, so I thought I might as well try it. Nearly there. One of the things that I want to do the decoupage on is this little cutting board. How sweet is that? It is small, but it was only a pound. It's a wooden cutting board, does it say? Or it's a serving board. Swanky dining stuff. It doesn't say how big it is. Hold on, I'll find out for you. The serving area is about six and a half by about five inches, if anybody's interested. So it isn't huge. I mean, that's it next to my face. It's not huge, but it's nice and light. And it's going to be excellent just as a decor piece in my kitchen. Or you could put Christmas cookies on it. You can decorate it and put Christmas cookies on it or whatever you fancy. But that's one of the things that I'm going to use the napkins for, I think. I'm going to decoupage something on there. I did actually get other napkins from Asda, which I'll show you at the end of this. But yeah. And the last two things I've got to show you are photo frames. I love this for a pound. I think that is ideal. So it is actually quite deep. And you have get the bit of twine there and the three pegs on it but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out the background to make it a Christmassy background instead of the plain white and I'm going to put maybe the word joy uh, with pegs but I bought other pegs and one below Christmassy ones to use rather than these ones or you could just use these and put little stars on them or whatever um, so yeah that's what I'm going to do I'm going to make this very very festive and it was a pound for the frame, which is brilliant. It will be so, so easy to make a really nice, personalised bit of decor for your house. And the final frame that I got was this one. And again, it was only a pound down as a canvas. I don't know if you're meant to use that as a picture, but I don't plan to. I plan to change that out and again, make it a Christmas background and either put some nice pictures in there or a nice saying or something like that. So I could either have it up and down that way or I could have it that way. I might leave it white, I might paint it, I'm not sure. Lots of ideas going through my head. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use. But again, perfect for a pound. So that was everything that I got from Poundland. Let me quickly show you the couple of other wee bits that I wanted to show you. I got this from the works and it was only a pound. It is a wishing bottle, a Christmas wish jar. And it's just a little plastic jar with the cork in it. And if you can see the wee bit of scroll sticking up there. And I'm assuming that you take the scroll out and you can write your Christmas wish on it. Put it back in. And the idea for me is that the elves are going to take that to Santa with the, the wish in it. And bring a note back from Santa to say, I don't know, to respond to whatever is in the wish list. Um, although with Brooke, who knows? Oh, look, I've just realised it's even got a wee key with it. That is so cute. So for a pound, I thought that is ideal. And again, I can personalise it. I can put Brooke or, you know, Brooke's wishes or something like that on it. I mean, she's 12 now. I'm pretty sure she doesn't... Little ears closed. Pretty sure she doesn't believe in Santa now, but she's determined the elves are still coming and she's still going to believe in Christmas magic. So I'm just going to go with it because, let's face it, I'm 46 and I still believe in Christmas magic. So yeah, that was a pound from the works if anybody wants to pick up one of them. Oh, the other thing that I picked up in Poundland um, that you might have seen in the vlog that I was doing when we went to Poundland was a pair of socks. If I can find them, I'll pop a picture in for you. Um, that says I'm sexy and I snow it and it's a snowman wearing a red thong and Abby gave them to Jack, uh, her dad, for a laugh because he loves the song I'm sexy and I know it and he always you know, gives it big licks dancing when he's driving to it and stuff and also in the works she picked up for him a Cadbury bar, it was a Cadbury whole nut 
and I think it said nuts about dad or something like that. It was something personal. Again, I'll try and get a pic. In fact, I can't get a picture. I think he's ate it already. Um, and they were five pounds each, which is extortionate for a bit of chocolate. You would get it for a pound in Asda, but it's got the sentiment on it. And um, so it was five pound each or two for eight pound. So she picked this one up as well that says someone special. She wants to give it to me because they keep saying I'm special because I'm in a wheelchair. But I'm going to try and persuade her to give it to either her gran or her granddad. So that it's got the proper meaning to it. <laughs> Cheeky thing. So yeah, they were two for eight pound in the works. They are expensive everywhere. Um, now, the only other things I've got to show you were from Asda, and you all already have seen them if you watched the blog that I'm talking about, but I just want to quickly show you. And it was these napkins. Again, they were a pound for 20, so cheaper than the Poundland ones, actually. I wish I'd waited because they had loads of really nice ones. So that is um, one side of them. It says Christmas wishes. And then you've got just a little deer on its own. And I just think they are gorgeous. They'll be beautiful for decoupage in. And I had to pick this up. Look at the jar. Baby, it's cold outside. It's Minnie and Mickey. This was £5. It's a lot more than I would normally spend. But I just had to get it because look how gorgeous is that. But then when I opened it up, I discovered... It's just like a sort of glittery, meshy material that's around the inside of the bottle and a simple wire light that's inside it. So I did pick up wine bottles with lights in it from Poundland in a previous haul and I might try and do something very similar with that and see if it gets the same effect because that would be a lot cheaper than buying this. But yeah, I couldn't resist it. Even though it was £5, I had to buy it. I just think it's so cute. And I have ordered shelves to go on my wall behind me. So I think that will be gorgeous in Vlogmas videos and things with that on the wall behind me. Anyway, that is everything from this little haul. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's maybe gave you some inspiration to make your own Christmas DIY decor. Um, if so, please let me know in the comments below. Back. Was it good to be at school today? Better than being off, stuck in the house. You were the one that gets in yesterday. I want to go to school. Yeah, but I thought one of my friends were in. Ah. Amy was off, Marissa was off, Katie was off, Charlie's still off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. So, Brooke is about to try the Me To You salty caramel hot chocolate. And um, I will let you know tomorrow what she thinks of it. I am just on to end the vlog. I'm just finishing making our dinner. We're having um, maple and honey gammon with crispy potato slices and mash tonight. So, yeah, I'm just going to make that. So, I've had a very productive and very busy day. The day has absolutely flown in. And it's probably going to be the same tomorrow. But we will cross that bridge when we come to it. So I hope you enjoyed the little um, Poundland haul that I showed you and maybe gave you some ideas for doing some little easy Christmas DIYs for decorations and things like that. Um, don't forget to put your answer to the Christmas karaoke in the comments below. Remember, it's the missing lyrics they want, not the song. And hit the thumbs up button if you have enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day. never ending, there's so much. Ten. What the hot chocolate? <laughs> There's loads of hot chocolate powder. Right, I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye! You saying bye? Bye! bye. Oh, oh, oh.